in this video we'll be constructing the lr0 for the given grammar and check if it is slr grammar or not so let's consider this all these productions as grammar g e derives a a a b as production 1 2 this is production 3 and 4 respectively now before moving on to the construction of lr0 items i we should find first and follow of the non terminals present in these in the grammar so constructing the first and follow i write e a b here so here i'll write first and here i'll write follow so first of e is a and b first of capital a is epsilon capital b is also epsilon follow of e is dollar here i have a b and here i have b and a so if you if you have watched my previous videos you will understand how to find out the first and follow i have explained uh, the algorithm and all the steps clearly so once we have found the first and follow, our next step is to construct the argumented grammar that is g dash from the given grammar that is g. So before uh, constructing we need to remember certain rules that is if the production is of the form s dash derives dot s where s is the start symbol so after dot if i have any non-terminal here s is a non-terminal then i should write all the possible productions of s all the possible productions of S with dot as prefix and over each iteration or shifting my ultimately I should obtain S dash derives S dot. So this is in case of uh, S that is a non-terminal when it's a start symbol. So if I have any production of the form A derives X then initially I should put dot in the start and finally I should obtain A derives X dot. So let me start with uh, the production here. So here the start symbol is E right. So I can write E dash derives dot E. So after dot e I have a non-terminal so expanding this non-terminal I get e derives dot a small a capital A and b then e derives dot b small b capital B and small a. So here after dot I have a a being a non-terminal I should write its expansion that is a derives dot epsilon or a derives just dot is also fine because epsilon you write don't write it doesn't matter and for b here b being a non-terminal i should write b derives dot epsilon so i'll consider this as the first set of items and name it as i naught so over e i have to shift the dot right to shift the dot I, I should write e here so over e I get e dash derives e dot so I will consider this as i1 so after dot if you have any non terminal check there is nothing here so you need not uh, write the productions so this is done moving on to the next production that is capital A I have here so e derives capital A dot small a capital A and b after a I have small a small a is a terminal so whenever I have a terminal I need not expand it so this will be i2 so this is done now I have e derives dot b so over b I can write e derives b dot b b and a 
so i'll take this as the uh, item 3 so this is done and here um, a derives dot b derives dot or of or of this form only suppose if x is epsilon so in this case if x is epsilon i can write a derives dot so that's it now i have i1 i2 and i3 so if you look at i1 it is of the uh, form a derives s derives s s dash derives s dot so you need not expand it or shift it further shift the dot further but here i have dot here and i have to shift it to here so after dot i have a here right so let's write a i2 over a i get e derives a a dot capital a and small b so after dot i have capital a that is a non terminal i need to expand it so or write the possible productions of capital a capital a derives epsilon so epsilon write don't write it doesn't matter so i write a derives dot only so let me put this in a in a box and name these as i4 productions and now i'll take this here i have b right so i'll write b here and i get e derives b b dot capital b and a here capital b being a non terminal i should write b derives dot so i'll consider these as i5 items so um done with i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 now i4 here a is there i should get this dot to the end so over capital a i get e derives a a a dot b b being a non terminal you can't write a uh, you can't expand it further so i will write i6 here and similarly here i have capital b so e derives capital b small b capital b dot a so this is i7 now further over b i get e derives a a a b and dot so finally the dot is shifted to the end so i can write this as i8 production and here over small a i, I write e derives b b b a dot and i write this as i9 production so i have uh, as production or items sorry so here i have shifted the dot from starting to end in all the uh, possible items so i am done with the second step that is to construct the argumented grammar my next step is to compute the parsing tree so here i have computed a table comprising of action and go to uh, go to part and here i have all the items possible uh, items which i have obtained that is from i0 to i9 so now i need to start uh, fill this table so firstly i0 over e i get i1 i0 over e i get i1 that is uh, it has shifted to it is go to e so i write one because these are non terminals i not over a i get two and i not over b i get three so coming on uh, check if there are any non -term uh, terminals here no there are no terminals so there is no uh, shift happening here coming to i1 so one point to remember here is that if you have a production of the form s dash derives s dot where s is the start symbol then in action part you should write um you should fill uh, in that production number that is i of i comma dollar is equal to write accept that so i1 production is in i1 so action of i1 comma dollar i should write accept because e dash derives e dot where e is the 
start symbol so i1 and dollar i should write accept here i am done with i1 moving on to i2 so i2 over small a i get i4 i2 over small a it is being shifted to i4 so s4 i'll write here and 3 that is i3 over small b i get s5 i3 over small b i get s5 um, coming on to 4 4 over a i get i6 4 over a i get i6 and 5 over b i get 7 5 over b i get 7 and 6 over small b i get 8 6 over small b i get s8 and 7 over small a i get s9 7 over small a i get s9 so i'm done with uh, i'm done with filling values that is uh, of uh, shift action shifting the values or and uh, go to part i'm done with it now let's look into the reduce part so if there's any production of the form a derives alpha dot then i can write it as action of i that that particular production number comma follow of the lhs the non terminal follow of a is equal to redu redu reduce of a derives alpha here a derives alpha would be the production number here it would be the production number and here it would be the item number so explaining this um, if i consider e dash derives e dot it is of this form only right but one condition is that a should not be the start symbol so here e dash derives e dot is the here uh, e is the start symbol so it is not applicable here this rule is not applicable here so i not i1 you cannot take coming to i2 no i2 is not possible i3 also there are no production uh, productions of the form a derives alpha dot um coming to coming to okay here we have in i naught we have a derives um a derives dot and b derives dot so i'll write a derives dot so let me write the action part so here it is in i naught right so zero comma follow of a follow of a is a b so zero comma a b is equal to reduce of a derives epsilon a derives epsilon is 3 right so reduce of 3 coming to b derives dot i write 0 comma follow of b follow of b is b and a i write reduce of 4 so i am done with i naught productions i1 you cannot consider i2 and i3 it's not there i4 i have a derives um a derives uh, epsilon dot right so it is similar to this right so yeah it is similar to this i'll write a derives dot so here 4 comma a b is equal to r3 and in b this was in i naught this was in i naught this is in i4 this is in i4 b derives dot so I write, okay, this is 5 comma B A is equal to R4. So done with these two. In, in I6, it's not possible. In I7, it's not possible. In I8, if I consider, I have E derives A A A B dot. So 8 comma follow of E is dollar is equal to e derives this particular is the first production so i'll write r1 here and i9 i'll write e derives bb ba dot so here 9 comma e derives bb is uh e derives bb so follow of e is dollar so i'll write dollar here e derives bb is r2 so i have written all the reduce part here now let's start filling the values in the table so uh, 0 comma a and b are 3 0 comma a is r3 0 comma b is also 
R3. Done. Next, 0, comma B is R4. 0, comma B is R4. And 0, comma A is R4. Next, 4, comma AB is R3. 4, comma AB is R3. And 5, comma BA is R4. So I filled this, 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 this. 8, comma dollar is R1. And 9, comma dollar is R2. So if you look at this table, we can say that 0, comma A has R3 and R4. And similarly, 0, comma B has R3 and R4. So these cells have R3 and R4, R3 and R4. Since there is reduced, this is called reduce, reduce conflict. That is, uh, there are more than one actions being performed in these cells. In that case, it, ref it, it results to a conflict. In this case, it's called reduce, reduce conflict. So when there's a conflict occurring in the passing table, we can say that the given grammar is not SLR. So I hope you have understood how to uh, obtain the passing table and uh, compute the argumented grammar. So if you have any doubts, do let me know in the comments. And subscribe to my channel. Thank you.